Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to the Subnautica stream. We were out for two weeks because we had a special Italia feature last week, but we're back. Welcome to the stream, guys. Arifin, thanks for joining. Hey, Misha, kind of new. Nice. Hope you are enjoying in the channel. Hey, day one. <laughs> hey, Pokemon. New here, but not in YouTube, you mean. Nice. Cool. Hey, Alex. Glad to see you could join. Awesome. Not first. <laughs> right. Hello, Kuya. Oh, nice. Pokemon, are you from Manila? From Philippines? Stig. Alright. So, what do we have for today? Subnautica Day. It's Subnautica Day and uh, there was an update that released uh, a week ago almost. The eye candy update as you can see here. Now what that brings is mostly graphical improvements, performance improvements. I think it's like 40% better performance compared to a like two patches ago, two updates ago. So we should be getting much more smoother frame rates now. Also the graphic settings. So many new options, bloom, lens dirt, depth of field, motion blur. I'm not really a fan of motion blur, but let's give it a chance, right? Let's give it, I, I set everything to high. Let's see if my system can handle it and let's see how that looks and let's adjust as needed. Pokemon. What Pokemon? <laughs> ah, you live in SG2. Nice. That's cool. Awesome. Should be close then. We're glad you're a part of this. Nice. I am glad you're part of this as well. Thanks for joining, guys. Let's chill and uh, be scared together. <laughs> because, uh, to be honest, I kind of forgot already what we were working on. But let's review it together. Let's explore the depths together. And with this improved graphical settings update, Warning. I think the monsters will be... Production. Offline. Even scarier. My stream has ended. Uh, Power restored. No, it All hasn't. Let me double check that. Let me double check that. No, it should be there. And I do have the graphics options. So you, you should... The default is 1080p 60 frames. But you should be able to downgrade that to 720, 480, if, depending on your internet connection. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Let me have a look at my thing here. CPU. Yeah, struggling a bit, but I think that can work. Good. Now I am, right from the get-go, I am seeing a bit more blur than usual. Hmm, it's not as crisp as before. Not sure how it looks from your end, guys. Let's go and upgrade our batteries. Get that and get this. Good. You refreshed. Alright, good, good. I think it's working. So... I believe in the last stream where we ended was we were upgrading the Seamoth. So if you remember, we had a couple of upgrades in line. We got the Mark II. Next up is Mark III so that we can go wherever we want basically, however deep it is. To, to do that, we need uh, two plus steel ingots and two air gels. I think I've been gathering titanium around. So plus steel ingots, we actually need um, titanium ingots and two lithium. The lithium is uh, what I don't know, what I, it, I don't have. I can't remember where to get it. But I have an idea, so we'll check it out. In case you remember anything, let me know, right? And then the aerogel, I think we should be able to manage. The aerogel is done by... Combining gel sacks and rubies. Now we do have a lot of rubies. And gel sacks we should have as well. That's one is the one, right? 
Uh, let me see. Gel sack. Uh, not that one. Yeah, one is the one. Looks fine. Looks kind of blurry. Yeah. Maybe it takes some getting used to. But the view outside definitely looks magnificent. Much more uh, vibrant. Much more... How do you say? Merging? Much more cohesive picture outside here. Man, there's a shark right outside their base. Okay. And then let's replant three seeds. The seeds are uh, one, two, and three. Good. Things do seem a lot smoother. Especially when going inside the base and such, but let's see if that pushes through. I do I do notice some bugs though, like look at that. Fish flying inside the base. Swimming inside the base. So weird. Like it doesn't even recognize that I'm a ba this is a base anymore. Let's give it a few minutes to acclimate our eyes to how it looks now and then if it still doesn't look good let's adjust as necessary right aerogel oh i do have aerogel already nice i didn't even notice okay so i do have aerogel i do have um okay i don't have plastic ingots so we need lithium lithium is the next step here titanium i need four lithium i think because that one needs two lithium each, and I need two of those. So four lithium. Alright, let's go. Let me grab a snack before we go. Perfect. Now upgrades, we have the Mark II module. So we should be able to dive until around 500 meters. We have the hull reinforcement and the storage module. Now, what else can we upgrade in the meantime? Can we, like, protect ourselves? Maybe get a torpedo or an electric shock thingy? I remember those things are... Oh, what the heck? I remember those things were available. That's probably done by the shark, huh? Hmm. So let's see. Sea moth modules. Uh, solar charger. Oh, that's interesting. While in the sunlight. Perimeter defense system. Polyanilin. I have no clue how to get that. Yeah, it, this... I remember this upgrade used to be so easy to get. Localized electric field designed to ward off aggressive fauna. Sea moth torpedo system. And a sonar. I do like this sonar, but this polyanilin is... Something alien to me. <laughs> Let's have a look if we have it. Polyanilin. Um, I don't know if you see anything, guys. I don't think it's here. One more time. It should be up here, I believe. It should be in line with the advanced materials, I'm assuming. So we probably haven't even gotten the basic ingredient for that. That must be it. Okay. So let's skip that. We can get the torpedo system. And then... Uh, we can get some torpedoes here. But that requires magnetite and we don't have a lot. Yeah, let's skip it in the meantime. It's uh, un unnecessary. I mean, even if you have torpedoes, you won't be able to kill all the fishes around. So might as well just run from them in the first place. Why is it your first time watching Glumsy play this awesome game? <laughs> Well, the good thing is you can watch the previous footages in YouTube if ever you want to see where how we ended up here. Now where I wanted to go, and this looks new, is the shark, shark. Yeah, there is a shark trying to get a bite out of me. This is something new, that one. I don't remember these mushrooms being there before. Okay, and there's a shark again below. Let's explore the mushroom depths. Oh, 
What I'm looking for is lithium. And we do have a couple of stones here. Just double check that no one's chasing me. Oh, there's a crab snake right there. Let's hope he doesn't go around and uh, try to eat me. Gold plus hydrochloric acid. It's polyanilin. Polyanilin. Where do you get hydrochloric acid though? <laughs> okay, that was a bit scary. Let's do this. Okay, whatever I got there, I think that's magnetite which I got. Yeah, I think those are all magnetites. Lithium, there we go. Yeah, there's lithium right there. Okay, so at least we know that this is a viable place. Let's go look. Go around and look for stones. Ouch. Oh, there it is. Can I even get damaged by this guy? He seems to be just hanging out though. Oh, there you go. Ooh, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Super scary. If you good, two more. Okay. More stones, please. There should even be some just lying around here. Three deep shrooms plus salt. Deep shroom, huh? Interesting. Oh. Deep shroom. I, I guess you don't get that here. Why is it so complicated? <laughs> Welcome to my chemistry class. Oh. Is this like a Breaking Bad session? Yee! Super scared. I do like the lighting though. All purpley and stuff. I don't remember the lighting affecting the inside of the sea moth before like that one. But I do like the graphics and I think my eyes have uh, acclimated. I've gotten used to the blur, so it's not as crisp, but I don't really notice the blur anymore. That's magnetite again. Lots of magnetite around. This one is a huge pile of lithium, but we'll need a drill to get that. So we can use our prawn suit, but we'll need the drill first, the drill arm. And what is this? Magnetite again. Hmm. Studying science? Man, it's been a while. I did... I did like my chemistry class before though. I was... Uh, not the best at it, but it wasn't that bad. I did enjoy... Gold. getting those different equations up and so it's kind of math in a way and I was a math kind of guy believe it or not <laughs> you know I used to join math competitions back when I was in high school I never won though but it was a good excuse because we were like an official activity we were on like uh, you could legally skip classes to join those competitions so it was like the perfect excuse <laughs> what is this? ooh battery okay <laughs> Yeah, math competitions back in Manila. I 
and then you were whoa 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 it's a bit too close for comfort bit too close for comfort going back oh he actually bit the sea moth look at the damage that he incurred there we incurred yeah, we were always wondering how these uh, how these other contestants knew so much. Like they were worlds apart. <laughs> we were worlds apart in terms of knowledge. Look at this light, so weird. When you go close to here, the light doesn't go bigger. It goes smaller. That looks so strange. What is this? Nuclear reactor fragment. Well, I'll take that. 33%. I will. There's one more here. Stasis rifle. Why not? Okay, I already have that. Fine. There we go. That was easy. Nuclear reactor. That sounds a bit scary. But it's the future. We've explored this house before. So I don't think we need to go inside again. I just need to browse around and look for some more lithium maybe there are like stones outcrops lying around this place this is quite a small uh, jellyfish room cave maybe we haven't explored some parts yet let's see ouch what's that one no it's not it's not stone. Yeah, that lighting. So good looking. There's one there, but I'm scared because there's a crab snake right beside it. Should we? Shall we? Magnetite? get that for starters Oop. and this is why a bronze suit is a must <laughs> so you won't have to go outside your shell like that there we go that sounded like a shark though okay now we have as many magnetites as we have we should be able to access torpedoes right quick and I should be able to take care of these at the very least maybe getting a torpedo system isn't such a bad idea huh maybe it will help like we won't need to be afraid of these guys anymore okay that's lithium good Need more, we need more. The graphics overall does seem much better looking. Although I do notice some pop-ups happening, like things are rendering in in front of you. Something like that happens more often than before. But maybe that's also why performance is much better. Oh, there we go. What is that? <clears throat> Gold and something else. Not Welcome lithium aboard, though. Captain. Okay, I think we have everything we need. 
I do like this effect though, do you notice it? Uh, let me go to something like this. And when you go to your inventory, the background blurs like that. Depth of field type. It's very, looks very nice. I like it. Okay, good. We have four. I'm happy with four in the meantime. And then let's build the torpedo system so we can uh, fight back. Oh, this is a very huge cave. Yeah, it's not as small as I thought. It actually goes very deep. I have one more in here. Gold again. Too much gold. Yeah, things like that. You thought that's like an opening and then suddenly like the stones spawn in in front of you. So it's not open at all, it just wasn't rendered before. The shark just chilling out there. Leave me alone guys. Leave me alone. There you go. Welcome aboard. And let's get some water. Nope. Good. So we do have a lot of magnetite now. Ah, diamonds. Those are diamonds that we're getting. Nice. That's actually pretty plentiful. Let's transfer all of that. We need all the lithium. Let's keep the... Let me have a look. Let's rush to the upgrade area. Get some torpedoes going. Um, computer chip. And titanium. Okay, okay. Let's make a computer chip then. Computer chip is that one. Gold, copper wire, table coral sample. Now, copper wire, I need two copper. Table coral sample as well. That should lead me to that. And then that. Perfect. And then I'll just need some torpedoes. How many torpedoes can we get? Maybe let's get three or four. Our house is getting bigger and bigger, huh? Alright. Let's get that. Sea Moth Torpedo System. Perfect. And then let's get some torpedoes going. Vortex Torpedo times two. Oh, maybe we don't need so many. Maybe we just need two of these for now. You know what? Let's go all in. <laughs> okay, there you go. There was also a gas torpedo, but I didn't think it was that good when I tried it before. Okay, let's go torpedo system. Perfect. And then we should be able to equip the torpedo somewhere in front, I think. Or was it at the back? Can't remember. Enter. Hmm. Honestly, can't remember. Oh, look at that. Love those like glowing things on the side. Thrusters. Open storage. Let's go and store the torpedoes in here. Does that work? How does it even work? Let's enter the sea moth and see for ourselves. All systems online. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at that shark. <laughs> See you, shark. <laughs> ah, all right. So it creates like a gravitational pull torpedo. Well, they didn't get killed though, so I'm not... Wait a minute. 
All that for that? Okay, fine. Let's load up on torpedoes. Remember, it should be somewhere here. There, Seamoth Torpedo Storage. Shark, anywhere nearby? Yes. Okay, there he is. Let's try that again. Not near our base, though. I don't want to... Fire a torpedo near our base. That's not going to be a good idea. Okay, and... It has to be a direct hit, maybe. <laughs> we were cheated. Okay. Come on. Chase me. Chase me. There we go. Only bad thing is, I'm also getting sucked in. Oh, that's more like it. That's more like it. <laughs> now the shark is gone to, gone to oblivion. Perfect. Love it. Alright, that's what I wanted. Ow, 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 ow. I actually... I think I was hit by my own sea moth when I went out and I was <laughs> rammed by it. Quite an interesting problem. Okay, so I should be able to store that here, I think. There you go. Six. How about here? Oh, six everywhere, okay. Six, so we have a couple of extras here. Perfect. Nice. Alright, I'm happy with that. And then now, let's build the Mark III upgrade. So we'll need the Mark II module for that. Shark Busters. That's a nice name. Get some med kits again. It is still getting buggy in this area. Laggy, rather. Not sure why. Some more? Some more fruits? Perfect. Okay, let's give back these stuff here. Uh, we need four lithium, I remember. We need... Can give one magnetite here. We need two plus steel ingots, if I remember correctly. Uh, titanium ingots, rather. And that should be it. There you go. Have you ever tried going to the surface? Yes, in I think the previous stream, two weeks ago, we went to that mountain, mountain island, however you call it. Uncovered a lot of uh, blueprints, a couple of lore. Items, some storyline. Pretty good. Sea moth upgrades, that's the one we want. We need two aerogel, which we already have right here. Perfect. Hey, fishy. Where was he? <laughs> Alright. There we go. Now that's Mark 3. That should enable us to go to the alien base which is, I think, 800 meters below. So if you try this on, now the crush that is 900 meters, so now the Geek Mobile is perfectly equipped and it even has torpedoes. Before we do that though, I'd want to restock a bit. I'd want to restock on uh, water and medkits. Yeah, 3-3, three, three, that should be good. And I did want to create a grav ball. Where was it? A grav trap. Oh, we need the battery for that. Okay, that's a bit of a shame, but let's try it out. Because they said, someone said in the comments, in the YouTube, uh, in the footage, that you could use the grav trap to suck in a lot of fish. And that will be very easy, so you'll be, it'll be very easy to collect them and use them for the bio, the bio plant that we have. I'm just not sure if this is consumable hope I hope not a grab ball like that so if we use you oh, that's requires a lot of space 
Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> but it's in the previous stream. You can check it out in the YouTube channel. There's an entire playlist for all the VODs that we've had. Water? Why not? And now we need an area with lot of, lots of fishies. So we can suck them all in. Let's see. Let's go look for one. in here there's a shark there I saw that's just mean <laughs> why <laughs> yeah the hunt for the elusive gel sacks that was really frustrating but once we got it it was so fulfilling okay this looks like a good spot so how do we do this I just press like like that okay oh look at that Look at that beauty. Wow. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Man, that's amazing. So now we should be able to collect all the fishies that we want. And then we can pick up the grab ball if we're done. That's a good tip. Thank you. I forgot who gave it. Forgot to give me that tip, but thank you for that. It's going to be very useful. And what's even better is we can move it as we want. It's still not as easy though, but it's definitely much easier. Good. What is that? Lead and silver ore. I'm happy. So I can pick you up and we're good. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. Okay. Let's see if it will. It, it will not. Look at that. Oh, it, it, it might? Let's see. Bro, come here. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I think it just got mad. <laughs> Don't you try and bite me. I'll bite back. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. The blur is pretty understandable though. Because it's... Uh, Underwater, after all, and everything like that. It's bring that, that there. Thank you for following. I noticed that name. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Cannot pick up those big baddies. Right, let's bring all of these. Reginalds, I guess, are nice and big. And these guys, I don't know what to do with these. I guess we just drop them. Don't really need them right now. But that craft ball was a very nice idea. So let's let go of these fish. You're free for now. Good. And now we can explore. The next part of the lore. But first I have to give these back. We have an extra power core here. We have uh, lead here. Silver. Good. And everything else I think we need. Yes. The laser cutter needs a new battery. Perfect. This one as well. Uh, not you. You. Nice. Right, good. So before we go though, let's study where to go. 
This is the photo I took. <laughs> Just gonna take that shot. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, I found this. When I was looking for resources a while ago, testing out the new the new uh, update. When I went out, there was this log which played. I'm not sure what it means. That sound. What are you? Yeah, that log. Also, it might be better if I just turn off the lights. Is that better? Is that better, like, in terms of being, like, inside the sea moth? That was kind of spooky. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I was, I'm just sharing the spookiness. So I'm not the only one afraid. Right, let's get going. Welcome aboard Cap Systems Online. There's another shark there. Didn't I kill you already? And by the way, I forgot to see this. Uh, there should be a... You guys remember? We found something. Like the Energy Pulse Origin. That one. And from there, there is something. Let me see. Self-scan complete. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Okay, that's not the one I'm looking for. Looking for something more specific. Um, geological data, not really, data downloads, alien data, hmm. no it was not a crew log, force field control terminal, I think I might need one of those things again that sounds bad do we still have that the shark thing I can't remember to be honest you know what let's just go to the origin and then let's see ouch <laughs> and then let's see where to look from there I wish I could just make this on auto go on autopilot like go straight forward and then you can study your inventory. Like that, and then you can study while it's moving forward. That would be nice. Huge wreckage in here. I think we've gone through here before though. Wow, that's a huge hole. What is this? Just a huge plant. Okay. How much is this game on Steam? I honestly have no clue. I think it's, don't quote me on this, 20 plus? dollars but if you're planning to get it i would suggest getting it now or maybe waiting for the christmas sale maybe it will go on sale but don't wait until next year because next year they're planning to release this and i think when they do release it the price will go up maybe it will go up to 30 plus or something so if you're planning to get it at any point, maybe wait for the Christmas sale to just to see if it will go on sale at all and then get it then. $24.99 US. Okay, there you go. Thanks. Thanks, Alex. Okay, that's okay. Waiting for the Christmas sale to buy Italia. Ah, nice. Yeah. There have been 
discussions about that that it will go on sale because it's also the same thing that happened in uh, the Francis DLC okay so this is the thing this is the thing I remember that we saw something which said like <clears throat> go to the southeast or southwest or wherever and then it's like 800 meters deep I remember there was something like that do you guys recall how we saw that notice? Oh, well, and then remember we do we did see a gate here, like a teleporter thingy. But I'm not sure how we activate that. <laughs> hey, Julius! <laughs> Thanks for joining. Squire is a real life friend. <laughs> we were thesis mates back in college. What time is it there? Alright, so I can't see anything. Let's go up here. Let's go up above water. And then let's go and check our logs. There we go. Ah, beautiful. Oh, that's a nice vacation spot, huh? Although, probably not with all these biting fish. This guy actually wants to go beyond the water. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah it's awesome glad you could finally join did Dave tell you to join he must have messaged the group huh uh, one sec what was I looking for maybe this one okay this one The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Is that it? Okay. How about this one? Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Summary to databank. Okay, maybe that one. So that we should see something in the data bank. Um, first time watching. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Notes to self. No, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> where did we see that thing? I remembered it. it was somewhere. <clears throat> Terminal data. This one, disease research facility. Exactly, this one. So, a further facility elsewhere on the planet. That probably is farther, huh? <laughs> Grammarian alert. Um, personnel 7, live specimen study. Karar. Cave system there. Southwest of the enforcement platform, 800 meters depth. Remote containment and research sites to reduce risk of contagion. Offsite thermal power generator. Okay. Alright. So that's it. Let's go and drink up. That's southwest 800 meters. Good. It is night though, but it probably wouldn't matter that much anyway. Wanna go? Wanna go? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay. I give up. There's too many of them. <laughs> Okay, southwest. So this is the building. Let's open our lights. Southwest. This is the building. Southwest of this one is there. Okay. Go straight from here. Southwest, 800 meters. So down in this direction. Eh, it's probably not good. Let's loop around a bit. Okay. So the lights seem to be more apt here now. With my, my, my face. Not too bright, huh?
Let's save first though. I'm pretty scared. Is that it? Wow. Okay, lots of these bad fishies. I remember these guys. These are like the stealthy ones. That guy. <laughs> Don't look back. Don't look back. Just keep going down. Man, can you imagine 800 meters below? We've never gone this deep. I think we've only gone to 300 meters before. Hey, MD. That's come a long way. Exactly. I played this before, like over a year ago. And it looks so different now. They even just recently gave an update. I had an update for improving the, the visuals even more. Adding like blur and depth of field and stuff like that. Okay. This seems to be like a dead end. Um, we probably need to... Thanks for following. <laughs> okay, thanks for fo thanks for follow, Squire. <laughs> Wild sharks appeared. They are pretty mad. <laughs> An entire horde of them. Man, I should have taken a photo of that. There you go. Okay, that photo cost us a bite. But it was worth it. Yeah, there should be something here. This this is not the one yet. This is like southwest is the other direction. It's that way, and then we go deeper safely. Is a relative term we didn't get out unscathed though okay this is a pretty high mountain I'm wondering if we can go okay that maybe this way we go straight and then we go down again we follow the curvature of this mountain thingy there is something there though oh crap you again don't force me to fire my Torpedo. Oh, maybe I should have grouped them together, huh? And then hit them all with a torpedo. That might be something we can do. Revenge. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, 34%. That's not good. There you go. Getting cracks now and everything. They didn't really get away though, did they? There's still so many of them. Okay, let's go here. Hang out here a bit. Okay, crap, he's still following me. And maybe repair our guy. Let's go around. Strafe, strafe, strafe. Strafing is the name of the game. Good. Fully repaired. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> okay. What the heck is that? What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's, I think it's just like a wrong rendering. Okay. Southwest. Proceed southwest. This way. Follow. This. Whatever this is. Mountain thing. There we go. This seems to be going back the way. Where's the base? There's the base, okay. Okay, let's save here. Imagine, there's even an, a hardcore version of this. Like, everything is much more difficult and you cannot load. So once you die, it's over. Man, I don't think I'd ever want to play that. <laughs> it's too scary. Even now, it's super scary already. And I'm not sure if I've gone far enough. 
Uh, because this seems like a very different area already. Anyway, let's keep going and see where we end up. It did say southwest, but it didn't say how far. It just said 800 meters. It's those farters again. Please remember those things. <laughs> now it's open seas. Yeah, I'm not really sure if this is still the right direction, but we will check it out. Now, I don't have the most power. Maybe I should have brought an extra power cell with me. But it's kind of late for that now, huh? Okay, we are getting deeper. We are getting deeper. But I am not liking this one bit. Oh, I remember it. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a huge wreckage. I do hear a warper though. There's a warper right there. Crap. Oh, crap. He's actually trying to hit me. Now, the bad thing about warpers I heard about is they can actually teleport you outside your Seamoth. So if he hits us, we can actually be moved somewhere else <laughs> we can be ejected in our seamoth open and vulnerable and everything is that it can i maybe fire a torpedo at him he might get mad though where's the guy is he still here oh there he is Not sure if he's mad at me or something. But I do want to explore that, so let's go just go and dive straight through. Let's hope he's not following. There's a bad guy over there. Is he following? Not yet. Alright, let's check. Seems to be a huge wreckage, but can't see any entrance so far. Ooh, look at this. This looks like an arm for our prawn suit. Drill arm fragment. Nice. One more. Torpedo arm. Blueprint acquired. There, one more here. Torpedo arm, oh, we got that already. Oh crap. Oh crap. He's actually right beside us. Sorry. Just checking out the place. Oh no. <laughs> Where is he? We got one drill arm there. We need more. Need more. Okay, there's an entrance here. Should we check it out? Let me have a look first where the warper is. Okay. Let's brave it. Grappling arm fragment. Can he go inside here? I hope not. Torpedo arm fragment. Mm, 
Mm, might need food. Might need a flashlight. Don't like the sound of that. Okay, we do have an abandoned PDA here. Integrating new PDA data. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. All the stuff. Real arm, there we go. Now we have real arms. Perfect. Good. That means we can explore the depths with our brawn. So we better get more resources in. And we can have a grappling hook as well. Alright. Anything else we can see here? More there. That's like a drill, drill arm again. And another PDA. No, it's a data box. What is this? Okay, actually didn't see what it was. What it gave. Torpedo arm. And we're outside. Okay, I don't, I don't want to go outside. <laughs> the warper might be waiting for us. Let's go back. The only thing is, how the heck do we go back again? Oh, here. I think here, right? What are you? Land shelf. New blueprint acquired. Something else here. Wow, this is deep. But we've gone here already. Okay, I think it's time to go back. Boop, boop. Now, how the heck do we go back? And there is something here we can open. Um, I'll be honest. I'm unsure where we are. Sea moth. There you go. Good. Refill a bit. Let's check where the warper is. And I'll go back down. Because there seems to be a locked door there. Where was it? Somewhere here? Man, this is making me dizzy. Is this a dead end? It does seem like a dead end. Where did we see it, guys? Here, I think. Oh no, we came from there. <laughs> here. And then here? Yeah, here. There was something I saw. Is this the one? Oh, there was a burnt door somewhere. This looks different. No signal though. Nope. Not that one. Oh, this one. There we go. Not sure how he came there, but as long as he found it in the end. Good thing we have a pretty huge O2 tank now. And this is the same thing we got too. Isn't it? Oh crap, crap, crap. Is there something? No. Okay. I'm just scared. And this is... The okay. That wasn't really worth it. 
Yeah, usually that's the, the problem with these laser doors. Welcome usually you don't really need to open them because there are other like alternatives, there are other routes to the place where that door is heading. So it's, it's not as rewarding as you would think. Save it. And we might need to head back to base. I'm not sure where to find that thing. The 800 meters research facility. Now this looks deep. That looks very deep. This might be it, guys. No, that's not deep enough still. the sound of that <laughs> I do not like the sound of that at all now this okay what does that even mean did we reach the end of the map I think we did, huh? We might have reached the end of the map. Oh crap, what the heck is that? Oh, she. Oh, we're doomed. What the heck are you? I think it's one of those ghost leviathans. Okay, I'm uh... I'm happy. I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, going bow. <laughs> I'm leaving now. <laughs> okay, one more bite and I think we're down. We're doomed. Lights. We do have lights on. There is there's really not anything there. Because it's that deep, there's no surface, no, nothing whatsoever. Carry that thing. Um, the wrong one. You didn't see the huge thing that bit us? <laughs> that may be the giant migratory cre creature. That may be, yeah. I think it's called a ghost leviathan. Let's go and eat up. Alright, so let's go and check out the data bank here, what it says. It said there was like a geological data... No, that's Greater Edge, that's the one. Show a steep decline in all directions. Data is consistent with the theory that the aurora crashed on the edge of a 2x2 kilometer volcanic crater. Likely been millennia since an eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crater to flourish. The ecology of the trench around the greater exploration is ill-advised. I think that's just its way of saying that that's the end of the map. It is also is that also what you understood from it? So I think we kind of explored too far. The or origin is two thousand five hundred meters away. So let's just go back to base, regroup, and then try again. You saw that. <laughs> okay, good. At least I'm not imagining things. Man, that looked scary as heck. I got so scared I didn't even think of firing my torpedo. But I doubt it would have done anything. Yeah, when I turn, turn on my lights, this is the only thing you'll see. Like the, the fish in the water bubbles near you. It's one of those reef backs.
one bite cost us like more than 50% damage on the hull. That was insane. Insane. And what the heck is that orange thing? You saw that a while ago as well. Yeah. I think it's rendering something from like far away. Yeah, yeah, that one. That one. Could that be a hint? This looks like a bug though. And it doesn't seem to be getting any nearer, which might mean it's that far away. Or it just doesn't exist. my base? No, I don't think so. No, it's not. Ah, home sweet home. There you go. Looks like a lava flow. Oh, it might be. Might very well be. Ah, that was an adventure. shut up and now at least we can go and explore with our prawn suit but I think the prawn suit is not very apt it's not very fitting for a long range exploration because it's too far away and the prawn suit isn't really the best when it comes to traveling I think Let's see. The machines hacked themselves. Uh, propulsion, cannon, no. Cyclops. Maybe it's time to get a cyclops. I did want to build that thing. Reinforced dive suit. Synthetic fibers. Ah, uh, oh, we needed benzene. Yeah, I needed those blood oils. Okay scrap that then let's try building some of the arms like the drill and the grappling hook I think is what we need there you go uh -huh. drill arm and torpedo arm and what do you know we need lithium for that and we don't have any lithium anymore crap okay so what do you guys think would you prefer we explore the story or would you prefer we try out to equip our prawn suit with a drill, with a grappling hook and whatnot? Which do you prefer doing? Have a look at this. It's a cave system. Southwest of Enforcement Platform, 800 meter depth. Maybe I should just go down instead of going southwest so much. Story. You like the story better. Okay. Let's go with the story then. What I'll need is to get some water and uh, what else? A power cell. Let's get an extra power cell there, just to be on the safe side. And then an extra battery, and water. Perfect. These fishes, <laughs> these fishes are still swimming inside so weird okay let's go with that I am good with story save it hey goofy how are you man 
What's up? All systems online. Glad you could join. Not sure if you're into survival games as well, especially underwater survival games, but if you are, you're in for a treat with this game. Such a beautifully made masterpiece. It's one of the best survival games out there, I, I think. And uh, what I like is it's mainly focused on single player. It doesn't try to... Oh, it's actually like... Ah, it's Metal Ruins. I think it might be Metal Ruins, the part of the Aurora. Yeah, that's that's the one. There's a wrong rendering in there. That it makes you see through the ruined part of the Aurora. Even from afar. Okay, so that's nothing then. But yeah. This game is, has been in early access for quite a number of years. But the awesome thing about it is they don't really... They don't really like... How do you say? They keep on updating. It's not like early access forever. You can definitely see the progress. And now it's almost in its final state and it's in such a... In a good place now. Very polished. The storyline is, I think, almost complete. Whoa. Oh, that's a bit too close. So yeah, if you are interested, this might be a nice game to get into. Especially for the upcoming holidays. Man, I can't wait for vacation. This is my last working week, this week, and I'm just counting the days, literally counting the days. It's so hard to work, because <laughs> you know what's coming. But yeah, final push. And then next week I'm on vacation already. Next week I'm still here though, so I'll still be streaming, I'll still be doing videos. I might even do more streams if needed, if we can manage. Oh, there's a reaper there. A Reaper Leviathan. I'm hoping he didn't see me, but I think he did. Okay, let's get away from him. Oh, well, that just looks wrong now. Floating piece of metal. Okay, so this is the thing. You go southwest and deeper. Southwest is that way. Oh, come on. Actually, this guy in here. Southwest and deeper doesn't sound good because that's where the Reaper Leviathan is, but fine. Must be nice. Yeah, can't wait. So there should be a cave system somewhere here, I guess. What is that? Some some stones lying around. School holidays in Singapore have lasted, for, have started for a long while. Man, that must feel awesome. How long does it usually is it usually for the holidays? I think it's what a month from what I heard. Oh, here we go with the air vents again. Any bad fishies nearby? Ouch. Yeah, the vents here are... Not really sure what this does. Okay. Let's proceed southwest. Uh, pulse is there. Southwest is over here. There's something deeper. Let's go deeper before we explore. Let's go deeper, right, like here. November 17th to January 2. Wow. Whoa. What the heck? I miss school. <laughs> Mainly because of that. Mainly because of that. Okay, there is an entrance here. We can go and get some more drill arms and whatnot. 
What is this? Alien containment. Oh, nice. So this is where you get that. Awesome. Okay. We can do some remodeling again. Grappling arm. I think we have that already, right? Yeah, no, that's a vacation. Grappling arm is good. Oh, well, didn't we have it before? Interesting. Okay. Grappling arm fragment. What's the difference? Okay. Grappling arm fragment. Yeah, we have those. Yeah, we have those. So many. So many prawn suits in here. Okay. This is one of those huge wreckages. I think it's the biggest one I've seen so far. 377 meters deep. So where's the entrance? That's the thing. Okay, I think we need to... Okay, it's actually even closed from here. There's also one in summer. Last day of May to June 28th. Goodness. <laughs> oh, that's a treat. Welcome aboard, Captain. You know what? Let's explore the opening from here. Oh, is that the only opening? I have my doubts because there's also usually another way in. There's almost always another way in. Aside from that straightforward approach. But I think since we have a laser cutter anyway, might as well explore that. These species want to bite. Quit it. Are we in? Almost. Uh, flashlight, please. Bronze suit propulsion arm fragment. I'll take that. Something to help carry stuff away. And one more. So this is like the prawn suit central. Nice. Blueprint acquired. Then again, after the June vacation ends, you have one exams one to two weeks later. Wow. So right after you get back from vacation, two weeks after you get into an exam. Ooh, that's that's harsh. I have to like get in the mood again. Get used to the school setup, the studying setup. Data terminal. Please observe safety protocols CSP twenty one before handling classified cargo. Okay, and what classified cargo is that? Prawn suit fragment. Well, we already have this. Hello. Lots of nutrient blocks in here. Oh, the, this is an actual prawn suit. Nice. So this might be where you get the prawn suit from if you didn't get it from the the Aurora. Maybe before the prawn suits were in the Aurora, they were here. Wow, so many. So much food. Okay, not one. Propulsion arm fragment, we already have that. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, I have one more here. Don't tell me that's another food block. It is. Okay. Have to get back to wherever it is we came from. 
and I'm not sure how we find that to be honest this might be the end <laughs> wait a minute okay are we close no we are not crap oh we have a bed Data. Unfortunately, 30 seconds. Oh, here. I think we, this is close. I think we're close. Uh, there should be an opening somewhere. Oh, crap. Really? Oxygen. Nope. I can't see. Can't see where it is, guys. Sorry. Oh, I might be there. Oh man. Okay. Let's try that again. Now, when did I last save? Really? Oh, come on. No, no way. Let's reload that. I know I saved before I entered that place. Or didn't I? Crap. Well, that's a waste. That was so much gone. Anyway, at least we know where we're going. I just have to remember my oxygen and not get lost. I think there's actually a device for that when exploring those ruins. I think there is a something you can build so you can have like wires or lights to guide you where to, how to go back. Emergency power. Ah, we are in the base. Oxygen production offline. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Power restored. All primary systems online. Right. Let's play to that message. This may be your only communication can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security turbo in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's but... leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. Regular? <laughs> yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be. If she doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The code. I'm regular. She's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be two six seven nine. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> wow. Is that the new content, 2679? Remember that. When we went to the Aurora, we found that captain's uh, captain's room and it was locked. And uh, I remember we mentioned that it the, the, the captain's room wasn't available yet in the beginning. Or in that current in the current patch. But now that we have this, it says 2679, so we should be able to open that now. Interesting. Oh, And what is this guy doing? That might be an interesting one to check. Creature decoy. Uh, where was it? There was something here. Light stick. No, not really that one. Habitat Builder Dive Reel. Ah, this one. So you can find your way back. This is the one exactly. Five creep find sample in one titanium. Alright, let's try that. <laughs> yeah, just another day at the job. <laughs> Three, four, five. Perfect. Let's build that die real. Uh, full. One titanium. And build me that die real thingy. There you go. Ham and the cheese is always good. <laughs> 
I can second that. Anchors to a physical point and unwinds as you explore so you can find your way back. That sounds brilliant. Let us go with that. Okay. Let's uh, test it along the way. Save and let's get going. Good. It might be. Sure thing, man. Welcome aboard Carl Systems Online. Aurora. No, there was like personal notes thing. Survival package? No, 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 no. There was something. Data downloads, codes. There we go. That's the one. Uploaded a set of blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. There's a high security terminal inside the captain's quarters located behind the prawn bay from which the blueprint should be accessible. Why, why don't we check that out? <laughs> that might be easier. I'm getting detoured, but I think it's a good detour. It's a new content, I think. Uh, there are still some bugs here and there like things getting rendered outside the distance like that thing but they're for sure they can patch that up floating crates and whatnot oh are the two fighting they're actually fighting look at that <laughs> Maybe it's best if we brought the prawn suit here, huh? Ah, that's fine. That looks so strange. And when you get near it... Wow, so many data boxes in here. And then when you get near it... It's still rendered normally. Doesn't get affected by water at all. I remember there was a shortcut somewhere. Yeah, I remember there was a shortcut. We unlocked that. I think it's here, yeah. Let's check it out. Eee, crabbies. Yeah, I remember these guys. Wait, 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 one sec, one sec. Let's get back to the water. Because we need our where was it? Repulsion engine. Repul repulsion cannon. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, I'm ready. Ow! One. Okay, get away from me. Get away from me. There we go. And then I remembered... Maybe they fixed this already. That, that's the thing. They fixed this, we're doomed. Oh crap, they fixed it! <laughs> oh man! Yeah, they did. Okay, they fixed it. We need a fire extinguisher now. Oh, there is one here. Perfect! How handy. <laughs> Because before you could, you could uh, put out fires just by hitting them with a knife. Ouch! That's not, that's not healthy. 
good. So from here, should be able to see that thing now. Yeah, I know we're near. I know we should be near. I think. Everything got closed again though. It's a bit weird. Lab access. 6483 if this is the one. 648... Oh, oh. Yep. 83. Right? Right. Hey! Done with the finals. Wow. Congrats, man. <laughs> Still haven't bought the Italy DLC yet. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'm sure you'll love it. Data. Yeah, now we can go all out. That's unfortunate. Everything got reset. Yeah, I remember there is something. This should lead to the brawn lab, the brawn hangar, and then we should be able to find the captain's room from there. I hope. I hope it still works that way. Yeah, we downloaded that already. Ah, yes. From here. Is it? Maybe not that one. How about here? Oh, this is the one, yes. Okay, yeah, I remember this. I hope they didn't change anything much. This should be... This should lead us to a, an area outside here. There we go. Those are the prawn suits. And we should be able to... Man, we need a repulsion, a propulsion cannon for this. But I think this one should work just fine. Get away. Somehow. There we go. Just push it all away. It's not even about the price. Just too lazy to update all your mods. So are you still on 1.28? Okay, can you grab a bite or some water here? Well, all, the, all the nutrient blocks we had was gone. It's gone now. I should have should have saved then. 1.28 still. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. That does get a bit hectic. But I'm sure he'll get around to it. He won't be able to resist. Okay. This is the captain's quarters. Let's open that. Using the code 2679. This wasn't here before. There we go. There's the terminal. There's the PDA. Data downloads. Captain's log. Classified. Wow. Thank you. Super helpful. And what is this? Aurora miniature. Well, I'll take that. That looks pretty nice. And the only thing we can see here is this one. Integrating new PDA data. Neptune escape rocket. Ah. Now that's the next part of the storyline. Awesome. Okay, okay. I'll take that. So what did we get? Vehicles. Neptune escape rocket. This blueprint was a set was developed at Altera headquarters. Specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. Takes into account local gravity, astronomical data. So they built this blueprint exactly, this vehicle exactly just for you so you can escape. 
consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform, gantry, stage one, stage two, stage three. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Pro mods, chassis cat, weather mods. Yeah, I can imagine. Completely imagine. Went through the same thing. It was not um, fast, but after some time, you kind of get used to it. Nice. Okay, so that's the next step in the storyline. Getting out of this planet. Until what time is streaming? Um, until 11. Wow, that, that's a refreshing thing. Being able to just say the time straight away. Because uh, usually I have to convert time zones. <laughs> Depending who's asking. Let's go and grab a uh, piece of water there. Okay, good. Alright, so that's good. So we unlocked that thing. That's the next thing we could do. But I think I would also want to get disinfected first. Remove this infection from our selves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't happen often, Pokemon. I usually, usually the people who watch are from the US or somewhere from Europe. I rarely get people who are from Asia and especially from Singapore. So <laughs> it's very refreshing. Uh, we go down like this and we explore this go straight through through this thingy go up here and we are out uh, kind of there you go hey Rohan no problem at all enjoy well you will envy Sheng just finished with his finals. <laughs> now he can go full on uh, truck sim on us. Welcome aboard, Captain. I seem Singaporean. No, I'm actually Philip. Well, who are you asking? Oh, Rohan. No, he's not. He is. Uh, he has Indian blood, though. I think. Isn't that right, Rohan? Go back to base and then let's explore again the the energy pulse thing you know what let's just go straight through there I saved already and uh, should be okay it is night though it'll be harder on the visuals but we'll make it work there part Indian that's why his name is not sounding American. Man, I can't see anything. You should be close to the the mountain now though thank you for the follow thanks a lot welcome to the channel and uh, feel free to say hi in chat so i can call your name in case you're lurking though no worries lurkers are very much welcome in this channel i 
There we go. There's the building. And uh, let's go and look for the, the, the ruins again. Okay, this is the building. Let's go southwest here. Uh, southwest is... Actually, southwest is this way. Yeah, okay, this one. I do hear a warper. Is this the cave system? No, it's... It's too shallow. It's not the one. It's impossible. Okay, that's the volcano thingy. And I'm hearing Reaper Leviathans closing out on us. Closing up. It's not a very encouraging sound. No problem, Rohan. <laughs> no problem at all. Go do your thing and when you get some free time, you're always welcome. Okay, I am seeing the ruins are somewhere... Not here. Okay. Let's try and look for it. It should be somewhere nearby. If I remember correctly. See ya. Thanks for dropping by, man. Catch you soon. And good luck with the homework and all the other school stuff. You saw that Sea Emperor Leviathans have a cure. Yes, I heard about that too, although I have no clue how it works. Good luck, mate. Alright, so I think the landmark is this one. And then let's go down from here. There it is. There it is. Okay. And I'll be sure to save now before I go farther ahead. Alright. So let's go and save here. And let's explore this place again and then I'll use the dive reel so <laughs> I'm sure not to get lost. Oh crap, for real? Why are you here, bro? Oh crap. Yeah, he's actually trying to hit me. Well, I hit back now. Oh, it doesn't work on him. Crap. <laughs> he just like shrugged it off. OMG. Okay, no thank you. Let's get away from him. Let's get away from him. Sure thing. Oh man, we're in for a treat here. We are in for a treat. Where the heck is the warper? Okay. There's this explosion thing. I think he's there. Um, why are you hanging around in this place? This is my turf. Oh, he's gone. And where did you teleport to? Can I see him? I don't see him. Let's go. Save it. And YOLO it. Oh, he's still there. Crap. Okay, so how the heck do we solve this? Let's just wait for him to leave. Yeah, just waiting for me to get out. It's a smart one. Alright, alright. There he is. I have no clue now how to get there. Let's try firing at him again. Maybe maybe it will work. Okay, he's gone. Again. <sighs> the heck with it. Let's go. Get that alien containment thingy. Yes. Get out of there. New blueprint acquired. 
Now we need to open it from that side, but he's hanging out exactly on that position. Not the best place to be at. So instead, let's scan these guys in the meantime. Grappling arm. We have more wrapping arm. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need so many. Grappling arm, grappling arm, and grappling arm. And let's get one more. And grappling arm. Okay, good. Oh, look at this. Gel sack. <laughs> How nice. Actually, have gel sacks in this place. Interesting. Let's go and plant more of these guys near our base. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's there. Now he's far away. Good. Let's go get inside. You know what? Actually, let's get some oxygen first before we proceed. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're gonna watch while eating your bacon. That's a good plan. Can you come in from another side? Like from here? Is there an entrance? No, I don't think so. I wish there was. I wish there was. Leave in here. Not really, huh? <laughs> yeah. Games love to troll me. This time it's a warper at work. Come on. Okay, he's gone. For now. I wonder where he goes when it warps out like that. Let me grab a drink here. Food block, okay. I don't really need it that much yet. Yeah, it's still there. Let me try firing one thing more at him. Oh, he's gone again. Oh no, he's there. Yeah, it doesn't get affected at all. I hate that. And now I think he's mad at me. I might have made him mad. Let's hope I can just go away, and then when I go back, he's not there anymore. Let's go look around a bit first. Let his, uh, let him lose interest or something. Oh, look at this. This might be the cave. This might be the cave. Rubies, magnetites, and whatnot. He's probably watching a YouTube channel. Yeah, he's learning my patterns. So he knows when to attack me next. Diamond. I'll take that. <laughs> the Warper. <laughs> and I saw a Lithium. Perfect. Thank you. We need that. Do we have more? We have more rubies. And we have a shale outcrop there. Okay, good. Where was it? That one. Pulled.
Ooh. Wow. There's actually like a volcano here. This might be a good place to build a base. Although there are quite a number of bleeders. Is that how you call them? Bleeders? What the heck is this? Oh, it's a ruby and the shale outcrop all in one. Win win. Okay. So we did get how much lithium? Two of them. There's one more there. One more there. Okay, good. And I think that's magnetite, the other one. Diamond and magnetite. Yeah. More torpedoes. The torpedoes which absolutely have no effect whatsoever. Oh, those plants look nice. More rubies. Another shell outcrop. Diamond again. And now inventory is full. Okay. We do have a storage here though. So let's use that. Let's store all the rubies and diamonds and lithium and magnetites and uranites. <laughs> Basically everything. Good. Maybe a, a lurker watching this. Yeah, he might be lurking around as well, that's true. That's why he knows exactly where we are. Maybe I should add a stream delay or something. <laughs> Protect ourselves. Ow! I hit myself again with my Seamoth. Oh. There we go, one more. some magnetite we don't really need magnetites anymore what we need are shell outcrops which i'm seeing too off it's like looking for a pimple mm. ow where the heck did i okay mm. might be hot in here mm. there we go one more lithium perfect ah yeah it is hot mm. it's near a volcano after all yeah 57 degrees celsius All that gold and those diamonds will be good for the next pair of earrings. <laughs> you know what? I love diamond earrings. Because they equate to a... They equate to a... An upgrade. <laughs> Easy upgrade. And for those who don't know the story... I was able to recently upgrade my PC. Oh, what the heck? Oh, there, there it is. Because uh, me and my wife decided that we wanted to get each other a Christmas present. And she found this nice pair of earrings that she really liked to get. And uh, that kind of gave me an excuse to get something for my own, for my own. And I picked an upgrade. And that's how I got this system. It's a fair fair trade. And that's why I like diamond earrings now. If she asks for one, I probably give her. And then I'll ask for an upgrade. <laughs> win win. Oh look at all these guys. This is a very nice cave system. How the heck do we get out there? I don't think this is the one we're looking for, but... I mean... It does look pretty nice. Is this the same angle? I think this is the opposite side. 
I think this is a different exit where we came from. Yeah, that's a Reaper right there. I wonder if missiles work on it. It's a Reaper Leviathan right there. Or is it something even... Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, no thank you. I'm going back where I came from. Happy wife, happy life. Exactly. <laughs> No, thank you. I'm going back where I came from. Which is, I guess, here? Southwest. And then let's hope the warper isn't there anymore. How much lithium have I gotten? Three more. So we have a total of, what, six? Seven? I think that's good enough for now. We can always return here if needed. Are we outside now? Yes, we are out. Good. And the base is here. No, it's not. Where the heck is that? There it is. The ruins. And the warper. Where the heck is the warper? That's the bigger question. Let's hang around a bit. Ah, oh, crap. It's still there. For real? I'm going to try and cheat here. I'm going to save, I'm going to exit, and then I'm going to load back. I'm going to hope that he's gone by then. <laughs> or let's try not to. Let's try not. Let's let's be good players here. Let's try not to exploit the system. There is something there, and I think I might be able to get in through here. Oh, thank you. There you go. Vital uh, signs happy? Good. Because I am going in. Oh crap, I can't. For real? Actually can't. Alright, going back. False alarm. I can see the inside. Yeah, there's there's the like the propulsion cannon arm right there. But I think I'll need to use my laser cutter for that. Ouch. Okay, let's try to look for another opening. There might be something here, sneaky sneaky. Doesn't help that it's night time again. How about here? Nope. How about from this end? I'm hearing the warper. The warper might have... Hmm gotten close to us? Not really. How about this one? Seems like a locked door though. It's not something you can open. <laughs> yeah, that might be the only move here. There he is. You know what? Let's do this for science. Let me save here. And let's see what the guy will do. Is that good or bad? He warped out on us. Hey Bitcaps, hello from Canada, nice. How are you? Is he back? He's back. Are you mad at me? Yes you are. What if I could just ram him? Does that work? 
Did that work? When all else fails, just use brute force. Let's wait for him to come back. I guess he's not done yet. Or is he? Maybe that's what he wants me to think, huh? <laughs> He might have... Go we might have scared him off. He just wants some bread. <laughs> but he doesn't seem to be here now. Okay, let me save again. Let's go do this. Let's do this. If you hear anything, let me know, okay? <laughs> you had some bread. Okay, so now let's use the dive reel. How the heck do you do is this? Oh, this is interesting. Okay. What does that do? Ah, okay, I turn it off. Okay, so it's it's a visual marker to let you know where. Okay, I'm good with that. So I think they changed that in the recent patch because they said it wasn't too visible. So the dive reel should light up like that to tell us we are in the right room. That I think should be enough. You know what, let's add a few more circles here. How do you add that anyway? Oh, that gets reset. Okay, that one. Good. Yeah, that should be good enough. Tell us we're in the right room. Okay. Is that something? Bronze suit fragment. Don't really need that. Let me double check. So when I enter here, I'll see those green things. And that's the indicator. Oh, I was so close a while ago. I think we arrived at this room. And then I saw that, but I didn't see this door. Yeah, that might be it. Okay, let's go in. And then let me refill the Welcome oxygen. Aboard, okay. And let's go and add some green thingies. Okay, that's good enough. Alright. So... What is this? Cyclops Thermal Reactor Module. Good, I'll take that. New blueprint acquired. Nice. New blueprint acquired. Oh, look, look here. Looky, looky here. Food. <laughs> we have the bed already. We have that one. That's closed. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Chick plant pot. Nice. Built the double bed. Well, that seems pretty comfy. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Thank you. But I need to find. Okay, this is the way. This is the way. We might need to do something like this. Okay, let me refill again. And let's use the dive reel for a deeper exploration. Good. Now let me use the dive reel in here. Good. Is 
that enough? I guess, I hope. The problem with having dive wheel is you can't have the flashlight on at the same time. It kind of is very hard to explore and know you're going through the right place. Oh, these are all the nutrient blocks. Perfect. Yeah, I remember these things. You already have that, right? Yes, we do. Good. Okay. The prawn suit. Yeah, don't really need that. Prawn suit fragment. Nope, no need. Is that it? Was that it? I thought we got more things from before. This is closed. There is nothing here. No other vents I can see. Alright, I think that's it. Then we go through here. At least this time, the laser cutter was really good for something, and that means it's the right way. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a dive reel, but as I, as I remember from what the developers said, they're they're okay to sacrifice that. <coughs> so it looks so it's much more fun functional, even if it doesn't look realistic. <coughs> Train Sim World DLC coming out tonight. Oh, nice. <sighs> yeah, I really want to get into it, but I'm still being a cheapskate about it all. The entire game itself is very expensive, though. But yeah, the DLC, the, just the DLC is, the newest DLC is much more affordable. Okay, I think I'm good. Let's go back. Change the power on that thing. Right? Happy. I'm happy. Let's go and repair this guy. He's been through a lot. Thank you. Alright. Good. Well, yeah, that was effective. Just ramming the warper. Sidestepping his warp thingy and ramming him is good enough to get him out of the equation. Now we might have gotten a few more things in here. Let me try and remember. Oh, he's back. You want some more? Yeah, he's back. One more round. Oh crap. Good. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> Ban. Banned for ramming. <clears throat> Grappling arm fragment. I think we have that already, right? Is he back? What the heck? He's back. He wants more. Okay. Does he? No, he's gone. Okay, I'm good. Now, how the heck do we find those caves, guys? Can someone look it up? <laughs> Let's cheat a bit here so we know where to go. You guys go and look it up while I'm going back to base. Right? And then let's go back and find where that cave system is for that alien thingy. And then let's take a look what are the requirements for building that rocket ship. I can imagine it's going to be pretty astronomical. Oh, nice. That doesn't sound good. Yep. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, crap. Hate it. Oh, man. 
We're doomed. Kind of. Still not done with this. <laughs> I hate it. Crap. I hate it. No. <laughs> ah, that's like that's like six to seven years worth of content. Which one again? It's just overwhelming if you see all the DLCs for Train Sim and think you have to pay thousands. Ah, yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, I get your point. That's why I'm trying to keep up with Train Sim World. Yeah, that's true. If you think about it, it's 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 just like ETS2. The only thing is ETS2 is able to emergency power only oxygen production offline. Okay. All right, we're here. Good. Let me double check where the heck are we? I think we have uh, everything full. Good. Now, did we get everything we needed before we got crushed by that reaper? I think we have. Yeah, I think we're, we were on our way back, right? What is all this? I think this is the ruins. Yeah, the, those those are the ruins. Good. So the sidestepping thing doesn't work. Yeah, as I was saying, um, that's a good point, Cheng. If you think about it, it's just like ETS2. When it releases a new DLC, you have to pay like $20, more or less, a new map DLC. And if you accumulate all of that, then that's 20, 20, 20, and it gets pretty expensive if everything, if you stack everything. The only difference is ETS is very kind when it comes to these things. What the heck is that? Electrical thingy. Look at that. And uh, they do go on sale, like, most of the DLCs go for cheap. Cave is northwest of Lightbot, about 1,200 meters. Okay, thanks a lot, Bitcaps. Let's go and check that out. So it's near here, it should be, like, right? Because the mushroom is, the mushroom forest is, like, northwest of the, 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 the cave, uh, the, the base, rather. Yeah, let's go back to base first. Regroup. Trains in Ghoststone sail too, but there's also a lot more content since they have so many routes. Ah, I see. I see. Hmm. Is it possible to buy the DLC without having the, the base game? Because the DLC is on sale now, so what I'm planning is maybe I could get the DLC and then I buy the game when it goes on sale. Unfortunately, Dovetail isn't uh, replying to my emails. <laughs> They're probably saying, who, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> you bought your Japan paint job DLC for 0.62. That was on sale. Nice. You have to have the base game first. Crap. Okay. Alright, so I, I won't be buying it first then. Because right now the, the base game is not on sale. Which is very interesting. Normally when they release, normally they have it the other way around, right? Normally they would um, they would have the base game, the old version, at a discount. And then they would, would have the new content at a um, at full price. Oh, oh, that's spawning in late can be a bit of a hassle sometimes. $5 for the EDS special transport isn't bad. Oh yes, that's that's just super... Uh, I'm not sure what the English word is. I'm trying to, f to look for it. But yeah, that's a very good price. Very, very good price. SES has always, has always, has always been very uh, accommodating very galant <laughs> the, 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 Philipp, the Tagalog word I'm look, I'm, and it's galante they're very giving 
Not unfair. Okay. Oh yeah, you might know. Galante. Uh, Papag bigay. No, oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Let's change up our batteries. That one needs a new battery right there. Let's charge these two up. Someone who is very giving. Yeah, that's how you could put it. This guy just wants to get cooked. Old cooked Reginald. Alright, let's eat it anyway. Okay, let's go and deposit these first. Okay, two diamonds. That's goes, that goes in the rare spot. Lots of lithium. Perfect. We have an extra power cell, we have a uranonite crystal. Oh, we even have a couple of things in the the storage of the sea moth, I remember. But let's deposit these aerogels first. These uh, gel sacks, rather. Plant them in here. So we have more storage. Um, that one, perfect. I hope no one eats them. limited since you've been here since 2009 nice that's a long time i only i only moved here since 2013 cool oh yeah let's let's post this um where, where do we put it though aurora miniature hmm Wait a minute. There was something like a wall shelf. Yeah, it's too big though. It's too large here. Maybe we can... Oh, th this one works. Okay, let's have it here. Let's have like a, a collection in this place. There. Okay. Let's get the titanium we need. There's two of them. And let's get this guy. Let's get our cap. And let's display all of them if possible. File environment mod looks very nice. Oh yes. It, it does require a very beefy PC though. I was comparing the number of triangles. By default, in the default game, in vanilla, you would only get like 1000 plus. When you have files environment mod, you would get like 4,000 to 8,000, sometimes even 15,000. So it really is like exponential, you could call it even. There you go. Now let's place the toy. The toy does not fit. Okay. It's not fit anywhere, alright. Fine. How about the cap? Or can we rotate it? Left bracket, okay. The rotate function isn't working for me. I have to change the controls here. Rotate, cycle previous. Uh, where was it? Left bracket, right bracket. Where's the rotate thing? Oh, you can't remap the rotate. Okay, I see. And that kind of sucks. Let's do it like that then. Okay. Oh, it's the same thing. It's very buggy, that one. It goes to the same controls as the rotate function, but it doesn't block out the rotate function when you do it, so... It actually moves your hotkeys, so you can't rotate normally. That's very weird. Okay, fine. Fine. The only thing I wanted was this one anyway. 
there. It's a bit jutting out though. You can somehow rotate it, but it takes a while. That one. Um, hello? Why can't I put it? Maybe it's right click. Or right click. Oh, it's not in the center. Crap. There we go. Nice. I'm okay with that. I haven't tried it yet. Real graphics mod. Friday, yes. Friday is the ETS2 stream. Because basically it creates the vegetation. Yeah, it makes the trees look much better looking. You can check my video, episode 186, I think it was. I show the uh, like a side-by-side -side screenshot of the default versus how it looks with the mod in there. cap in there just because and let's try to look for a spot for our toy not possible okay you stay there you're grounded <laughs> doesn't look nice but it's fine check it out after the stream nice okay uh, what were we going to do? Uh, yes, northwest, right? But let me have a look first at how you even build this darn rocket. I guess it could be here or in the mobile thingamajig. Reactor rod. Used to power nuclear reactors. Wow, look at the requirements there. That's insane. Okay, so maybe we go up. Alright, let's go towards the mobile vehicle bay thingy. If I can still find it. Okay, there it is. Alright, let's have a look. Is it here? Neptune escape rocket. There's the one. That's the one. So the launch platform needs two lead, two titanium ingots, computer chip, and a power cell. That's not really that hard, to be honest. Two titanium ingots is nothing. But I guess the other parts are more of a problem, huh? And you wouldn't require that to be, what, stable surface. I guess you would need that above ground? Not really sure. Let's have a look again. So we do have lead, I'm sure. Computer chip, I think we can still do. Uh, titanium ingots, we should be able to do that. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. It's night anyway. And it won't do us much good to explore at night. So let's get lead. It should be here in the uncommon. Yeah. Two lead, two titanium ingots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Will I have enough? We will see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do have enough. Nice. Alright, and I need a computer chip. The computer chip needs gold, copper wire, and table coral sample. Gold, copper wire. Oh crap, we don't have copper. Gold, copper wire, and table coral sample. Okay, let's go and look for some copper. They did improve the scanner room as well, so you can see better pictures there. And. Uh, Shale chunks even nice. Magnetite. 
That's cool. You can see all these stuff. Limestone chunks is what we need to get some copper. And since we have the HUD upgrade, this thing, scanner room HUD ship, we should see, there it is, it in our HUD and go right next to it. You know what, let's take the prawn suit, just for a change. Punch out. Oh, he's scared. Or is he just smart? Where is he? <laughs> okay, let's gonna get some more. There he is. Want some? Where is he now? Copper ore again. Good. Man, I like this prawn suit. I feel less vulnerable with them. When I have it. Okay. Where's the guy? Oh crap, he's eating the base. I hate you. <laughs> He can't go head to head to me with me, so he's uh, taking it out on our base. What a bully! Now that's copper ore. I can't get it. Oh, there we go. Come on. There you go. Now we just have to shoot ourselves somewhere here. Where did you get the blueprint for the Neptune launcher? I think it's something new. I got a, a radio frequency, a radio transmission, which uh, says go to the Aurora, the captain's room, and then they gave me the code, and now you can open it. And inside is the blueprint for the Neptune thingy. Stop scanning. It's too much. Can you can you clear that? I think it's clear already, but might be a bug. Oh there we go. Okay, so the copper ores are with me. Good. So we can make a copper wire out of that. Uh, wait a minute. No, it's not with me. It's still in the prawn suit. That's what I hate about it. It goes in its inventory and the inventory is not very accessible from here. It's, it's below, so you have to go in, have to go down, have to go out, and have to get it from here. It's a bit of a hassle. There you go. Okay, let's see how we can build that thing. Copper wire and computer chip, was it? I hope it is. Okay. Back to lead. Oh, I think we need lead, right? Yeah, we need lead, computer chip, titanium ingots, and power cell. Yep, that should be good. There we go. Neptune launch platform. And it didn't do anything because I need to place it by myself, is it? Oh, 
Or is that bug? Well, that kind of sucked. Wait a minute, so what happened? It got my stuff, but it didn't really build anything, did it? This sit somewhere I couldn't see? Hey, that's unfair. Wait a minute. Those, the, that's my plant box, that's my base, uh, that's my scanner room. Now where the heck is the platform? I was expecting you can like bottle it up and just plant it anywhere. Reload to get stuff back. Yeah, that might be the only thing we can do. Let's try it again. Maybe we have to take the, the platform with us and maybe we have to be on like on a flat surface or at least on a surface to do that let me search it while it's loading up subnautica launch platform Warning, emergency power only, oxygen production, offline. Um, why are we all the way here? Didn't I save at all? Do not attempt to build the Neptune launch platform during its development stage as this will consume your materials and not build it. Sounds familiar? <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not ready yet. Yep. Okay, skip that then. Let's just go back. Let's go home and uh, I don't think we'll have time to explore the cave anymore but what we'll do is explore the prawn suit let's to uh, go and build some arms for it and then let's uh, check out what we can do with it I would love to try out the grappling hook at the very least and then let's go up because I don't want any problems I just said I don't want any problems with the Reaper. Maybe it cannot go here, like in shallow water, I'm going to hope. Or maybe I cannot run it if I just go straight forward. Not even going to look back. <laughs> Report bugs and give feedback. Reapers suck. <laughs> That's a feedback, right? Okay, I think we're safe. I hope. You need a turbo button? Oh yeah. How much more <clears throat> if we're in our prawn suit? I guess the next phase is to build the cyclops so we can travel farther distances. I think that's faster. It should be. It's a much bigger ship. Right click, left click. Ah, that's true. That's true. I did use the grav ball though, the grav ball was pretty nice. It wasn't as easy but it looks a lot cooler.
it should be able to. I'm not sure if it can carry both the prawn suit and the sea moth at the same time, but yeah, it has like its built in moon pool. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go again with the legs spawning in last moment. That kind of looks funky. Strutting out like that. <laughs> the legs sticking out. Okay, repair. Job well done. Let me save in here. I always forget to save. Let's charge up our stuff. No, 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 not that one. That one. Good. And the materials. Two diamonds. I think we even have more in the sea moth, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, we got more stuff in there. Gold is on common tab. We have a couple of titaniums. We have some uraninite. And we have two gel sacks. This feels like it happened already. Deja vu. Okay, plant those two. Good. Yee, sharky. Where? Stay away. My shelf is gone. Oh man, crap, you're right. <laughs> After all that hard work, huh? That's fine. They didn't quite fit in anyway. Let's get this guy. Let's put the miniature thing here instead. Stare on the side like that. Not the best when it comes to architecture, as you guys can tell. <laughs> what I say, planning to um, get the stuff from the sea moth. Yeah. There we go. There you go. All those neat stuff. Diamonds, rubies, wow, magnetites, Doesn't, don't fit anymore. Okay, let's leave that out, lithium. The magnetites, you know what, let's put here. And then we have lots of uraninites. Uraninite, is that how you call it? Okay, anyway, you know what I mean. Good, perfect. Now that's all well and good, organized and stuff, let's go and build some arms. We have the propulsion cannon, we have the grappling arm, and we have the drill arm. Now for the- oh man, that's that's too bad, how the- benzene, we need the benzene. And that needs like oil, blood oil, lots of them. All right. But at the very least, we can get uh, a drill arm, which needs titanium, lithium, and diamond. We can do that. Four diamond, five titanium. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Need four of you. And how many lithium? Just one? Okay, I kind of forgot. I hope I remembered right. Yes, drill arm, nice. Torpedo arm is also possible. But I don't think it's really worth it. I think I'd rather, rather get a... Oh, a propulsion cannon. Or a jump jet upgrade. Although I don't know where to get these two. 
prone to that module. I think we already have that, right? Or maybe not. Nickel ore. Where the heck, heck do you get nickel ore? And just one upgrade yields you to 800 meters already. Okay, let's get that and let's get digging. Let's get drilling. So in order to access the upgrades, we just go here, plant that. Uh, yeah, it's a bit wonky, this prawn suit. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's perfectly fit for a moon pool. You can't even access the upgrades from here. Fine. Here we go. Access upgrades. And now put in the drill arm on the left or the right. Let's put it on the right. Good. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now so now we can gather those huge chunks of uh, stuff. Actually, we wait a minute. We already we can already go 900 meters deep. So that depth of upgrade makes us go up to 1,700. That's insane. Sure? Sure about this? I can drill you if you want. Where is he? He's gone. He's running now. <laughs> he doesn't want any more look. He's saying no. No more. No more, please. <laughs> I think he got dizzy with the punches that we gave him. Okay. So if I jump here, will I be able to jump back? I'm a bully tonight. <laughs> it's revenge for all the times that he hit me. Oh yeah. There we go. Good thing that didn't incur any damage. Oh, there we go. Is this lithium? Look at this. Drill lithium. Is that it? Oh, look at that. So many. This is super cool. And I think before, th this is something new. Lithium added to vehicle storage. I think when you drilled before, the things just fell on the ground. It didn't go directly to your inventory. Man, that's a lot. It's just like all the lithium will need. Is there a shark going to eat me? Yeah, there is. Where is he? Yeah, he wants some revenge. So much, two more. There we go. So yeah, before you had to pick it up manually. Now everything just goes in your inventory. That's perfect. Perfect. The sound effects are even good. That's true. Let me go and get the things from his storage, so he can he can have more stuff in lithium, lead. Okay. Let's go and do some more gathering and then let's try to go back to base. That's the hardest thing I'm thinking about now. I'm not sure if we can go up that the entire way. What is this? Another set of lithium? Wow, yeah. Unlimited lithium. I don't think we need any more though. We don't even have any storage for it. But that's good. At least we know where to go. Diamond. Why not? Another lithium. Why not? Oh, I thought he can pick up stuff with his right arm. Also, that's the bad thing. If you have like... Ah. So if you have both arms taken, then you can't pick up anything anymore. If you have both arms fitted with a 
with an add-on like grappling hook and whatnot. I'm not sure if we can still make like pick up things. Maybe not anymore. Oh, what is this? Oh, gold. Okay, don't really need it. But that's good that we have something like that. Now oh, this is pretty cool. I like it. More lithium? Yeah. Alright, so now let's try going back up. The real challenge. Yeah, look at all these lithium deposits. And they really contain a lot, huh? Now that's how you mine for resources. Hello? Oh, there's something here. Data. Some bit of lore. Not in the mood, not in the mood for lore right now, though. I'm in the mood for going back to base. Uh, okay, let's see. If I just go straight up, the boost doesn't seem to be doesn't seem like it will last the entire way. But I can do multiple jumps. I think. seem like it will be enough for this case though oh no oh no oh no okay <laughs> all right i'm not sure how you do this so you can get stuff but how the heck do you get back up Let's find a different platform. Maybe this one is nearer. Oh, come on. Okay, let's just go straight up. Let's see how far we can go. And that's not far at all. And I don't see any ledge here. Maybe that's why you need a grappling hook, huh? <laughs> Crap. Okay, let's go there again. This one. I think this is where we stopped a while ago, wasn't it? That should provide even footing. Good. Next level is that or... Hmm, is there nothing else here? What the heck is that? I think it's just fish that's that has some kind of sickness. Okay, how about this one? Please don't fall. Oh man! Okay, at least, at least there is no fall damage. Get away from me, guys. I have enough problems. Okay, so that's a... That's a very good thing to note. Can't really go up from here <laughs> huh. I can leave it and then I can build a grappling hook and then I can get come back for it but is it worth it I mean I can just load the stuff load before I fell or I can maybe jump from there Something you can reach. 
go straight up. No, there is no ledge of any kind. Man, that sucks. Okay, I'm just going to load it. The concept is there, but the equipment is not enough. We need a grappling hook first before we do any exploration, otherwise it will be such a waste. Reloading the base. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. I shouldn't be inside the base. There we go. Should be before going down. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And just like that, we're up. Do we have any stuff in here? We don't have any lithium yet at this point. Ouch. What the heck? Oh, the, the spitting guy. Well, How do we build that grappling hook again? The grappling arm we need the, the benzene, okay, so we need blood oil and an advanced wiring kit. For advanced wiring kit, we need... have a look. We need a wiring kit and a computer chip. For a wiring kit, we need two silver ore. I think we have that. Let's go and try and build it. So we have a bit of progress, yeah, we have that. We need, um, for the, oh, I think we need, okay, wiring kit, that's one. And then the computer chip, we need copper wire. All right, we'll need to get copper. Yeah, that's not going to work. But this is something we can reuse. Alright, power cell, let's build some more titaniums in here. And we will continue this next week. Store everything. Is that it? Yeah, that looks to be it. And uh, the benzene, let me just double check, should be that one. Blood oil times three, we have one right here. We can get it from the, what do you call that? The one a while ago with the, the trees that are like glowing. I saw some blood oils there, I should have gotten them when I had the chance. But yeah, we need three of these, that will be a bit bulky. And that will yield that benzene synthetic fibers we also need benzene so we let next time let's get that maybe i can get that offline actually yeah let's see let's see how it turns up but yeah let us leave it there for now quite a bit of work quite a bit of progress next time we will get those benzenes and we will explore the cave hopefully not sure what we'll find there though and uh, we will test out the prawn suit and hopefully the grappling hook and all the other upgrades maybe we can even start on the cyclops because in terms of blueprints we should have two out of three parts i think where was it yeah we have the bridge we have the engine and we don't have the hull once we have that two more fragments we can start building the cyclops that might be something worthwhile Yes, just a few more. Final push. <laughs> sure thing, sure thing, okay man. Thank you guys for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you on Friday for Truxim. Thanks, and ooh, have a good night. Have a good day, <laughs> and bye-bye.